All right. Welcome to part three of Zero's run of Magmanix. And let's continue with what we're going on about, how Sony dropped the fucking ball. <laughs> okay, uh, let me sum it up. 2015 E3. You can watch my channel, Squirms' look at that one, but I'll just sum it up. Final Fantasy VII Remake, bam! Uh, Shenmue Free coming, bam! Arkham Knight, bam! Call of Duty, meh, that show was so good you earned it. But of course, they even, they even topped that. They opened it up by showing off a game that hadn't really been shown for like, god, I'm gonna say about nine the last years, Guardian. according to my... Yeah, The Last Guardian. Didn't yeah, that how that game turn out? Yeah, didn't... Because I feel like everyone kind of forgot yeah, about I it. Yeah, I feel like that game ended up being incredibly mediocre. Let me put it like this. It kind of ended up like Kingdom Hearts 3. It Ouch. came out, but after a short amount of time, not many people talked about it, unless you know they were arguing about it. Yeah. Well, that's not to say it was a bad game, it's just, well... Forgettable. It didn't quite live up to the hype. I personally have commented on it as well, and... It, it's just one of those... Pro it's the pro... Oh, actually, so uh, can we talk about Naughty Dog real quick? Please. Oh, good. Uh, ig ignoring this <laughs> entire pandemic that's going on, on you, f you know how people give j companies crap for really taking so long to release games. Look at look at Naughty Dog. Uncharted Four announced announced in two thousand November two thousand thirteen came out out May of twenty sixteen. The Three Last years. of Us Part That's Two announced December of 2016. Meant it, due to if ignored the worldwide events, it was going to come out May of 2020. Mm -hmm. so I, yeah, like, I don't hmm. kind of understand the delay behind it because it's like it's it's a game, like you know, it's not like it's not like the IDW comics are delaying them because of the metal uh, virus. Like it, it's it's a comic, unless it physically has to be like kind of insulting or like too much. But The Last of Us has already established what it was when the game first came out. It's the Cordyceps virus, you know, with all the uh, you know, with all the plant stuff. And I think I think it was ha it had to do with like the doing through final testing and fr okay. from what i've heard the virus itself seems to not have anything to do about the plot of the last of us 2 if those leaks are correct i wonder if it's to stave off the whole uh, crunch time expose I, I, idea I, 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 pardon me for wonders if they're going to try to make a ps5 launch title oh that may not be a good idea on their part i feel like they'll they'll breath of the wild it yeah that could maybe work out better, but also I learned that if you get damage, uh, Rengoha will will get will fill up. Yeah, that's uh, how you do it. Yeah. yeah. But cause think about it though, like there are so many. Cause unfortunately in today's day and age, the casual slash normie market, whatever you want to call it, does kind of outrival uh, people like us or even people more like my friends. Uh, that are very into video games. So if they made The Last of Us 2 a PS5 title as well as being a PS4 title, uh, you know damn well people are... And if they put like an extra bells and whistles on it, you know damn well people are going to pick it up. Because I you have mean, all these Twitch yeah. streamers and you have all these YouTube people that are going to pick it up so they can start oh, streaming not it to only their that. public. Not only that, you've also got the people who are afraid of what will happen to a franchise if it doesn't sell well. Sort of something akin to what the Crash Bandicoot fanbase is going through nowadays. Don't get me wrong, the games out now are good. But you do get the semblance that some people are trying to sweep some criticisms under the rug because they're afraid that the games may not sell well, and considering it's Activision behind Crash, well, the last thing people want is another decade or so of the Bandicoot's absence. Don't worry, they'll, make, they'll milk it for like seven years until it gets there. I mean, they milk CTR pretty fucking hard. Oh, yeah. Like, they did. And don't get me wrong, I love all the content that they added, but unless you played that game a lot... Like yeah, don't you I have like a thousand to... hours at this point? Yeah, and it's because of, it's you know, the I methodologies... I think that's more than I have at Smash. 
Yeah, I know, trust me, I am not proud of the fact that it outweighs my time on Smash Ultimate. But that's just the thing about CTR Nitro Field. Because, trust me, I'd rather be able to unlock the characters during the Grand Prix than have to build up the amount of coins that will be needed to buy them all now! That's bullshit, that's so dumb. Yeah, also, I don't know. know why people are being obsessed. It's like, are we getting a new Crash Bandicoot game? Why, when are they going to announce it? Like, guys, they are. The remake sold well. Relax. It, the okay, thing is okay. with Crash, okay. I'd, I'd prefer an original game over a remake of something else now. Yes. Since we the have only rem we have only remake I want now is Crash to Insanity. But if we need to get a new game first, I will understand that. I'd, I'd just rather have original listening. content. Apparently on the Activision website, there is a listing for a new Crash game. Well, but again, may the, maybe it, maybe the, it's like up although I gotta although I gotta say, people who are fans of uh, the post Naughty Dog Crash games are gonna be mad if that new Crash game is called Crash Bandicoot Four because that's no, 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 we're gonna get a remake of Crash Bash, because for some reason that's what people are asking for, even oh, though I God. thought it was generally disliked. You know, I mean, what's sad? Pe you know what's sad? That fear has now gone into overdrive, because you know how Iron Checkpoint Crate is a thing? Yes. Mm -hmm. One of his skins is the Crash Bash Purple Box. Which, of course, has led people to assume that that means, oh, they acknowledge Crash Bash exists, which means they're remaking it. Wait a minute. That iron crate is a real thing. Yes. Yes. I th it's. The, I thought it's it was the newest a, character. I. Uh, it, okay, there, buddy. Terrence, Terrence. Sounds like you're having a heart Terrence. attack there for a second. Yeah. Terrence Study Xe has stopped working. Would you like to refresh and restart? All right. Um, trying to jack off Terrence. I'm gonna. Whoa. I'm gonna, what? I, 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 Th it's a, it's a, it's a Mega Battle Man joke. Network reference. Oh, oh, I, okay, you had me concerned there. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, actually, what are your thoughts on Mega Man Battle Network, bitch? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't like them. I don't blame you. Life no. has many doors, Ed boys. That's there, what I there, There's like I'm just the gameplay. I, I like the world and whatnot, but like the gameplay, I, I can't. I, I don't like. It's the same reason why I don't like Chain of Memories. I am one of those heretics who actually prefers Star Forces variant of the gameplay. Oh, I heard so, if, if Kyle was here, he, he told me that's the only good Star for for Force game is free. I like Star Force because it has that drill haired girl and she's cute. Ah, uh, Lumina. Yeah, I like drill hair girl. Oh, I, I, I like that girl. I don't know what her name is. Hey, 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 I played Star Force, I can say. Oh, uh, yeah, at least you're not that one guy <laughs> that we, I talked to you about. I like I like Shantae. Never played a Shantae game before. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, that that's, is literally fucking that's, stupid. That's really dumb. Stan Shantae. Okay, huh. I'm all for Shantae and Smash, but I do know. All right, Shantae's so can I, can I talk about why the real reason why I was like, kept saying that she wasn't gonna be in be DLC Pass One because oh, her creators were heavily right there influenced and they were pushing it, and they're like, if you're pushing it, that means she's not in it because if your character's in it, you have a an uh, contract to not say anything. Yeah, I know, right? Let's and people see. were. I remember I was talking about a different. Discord server, and it's like, oh, that's just his personal account. How? Just like how? Was like, no, oh, no, not you're not allowed works. to say anything unless it's like, unless it's someone like, hey, if Sean, would you allow Shantae to be in Smash Brothers? That was like, yeah, yeah, I would. That, just, that doesn't that that's not confirming yes or no. Yeah, like, like what Phil spent Phil Spencer did. It's like, yeah, yeah. if Banjo Banjo can, I, I'll be down with it. Yeah, Phil Spencer but, did say that. Yeah, but, that's the entire reason why we got him. Because during the voting campaign, if someone asked him, would you be okay with it? He said, yeah. And that's why we got Banjo and Smash. Go <laughs> uh, Like, I'll just say this right now. Even as, for as much as I want Sham, Shantae and Smash, I never believed she was going to be in the first Spider's Best because of that tweet 
from yes. Matt. And, pe- yeah, and people were always saying, oh, well, you know, maybe he was just saying that, but then he retracted it, you know, because he didn't want to break contract or whatnot. And I'm like, dudes, dudes, dudes. No. Recently- and I don't yeah. want to say spirits to confirm or confirm anything, but I feel like with Shante, like, they probably wouldn't have had her spirit inside the game yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Specifically yeah, like, her. I- I know everybody. I do gotta this. say though, with that said, I don't know if we're going to have an indie rep be in Smash because honestly, like I get it, Shantae is the grandfather of indie games. Yeah, but if if Shovel Knight is but an assist like, trophy, then and, and more more people have played Shovel Knight than they have played any Shantae game. Yeah, that is Shovel Knight. Is that is a fact. More people, right. more people have played Sh- Undertale than they have played. Shantae. More people just... have played Cuphead than they've played Shantae. Yep. That's actually kind of sad considering Cuphead was originally a Steam and Xbox exclusive game. No, uh, not, no not really. It, it was one of the few games that Microsoft was pushing. Is <laughs> That's it a, fair. Is it, is it sad that I was able to call that a lot of those quote-unquote Microsoft exclusives would eventually be coming to the Switch? Because they weren't selling well enough, so they had no other choice. No, no, Cuphead sold well because it because yeah, uh, the, well, the creator. So, yeah. the cr- well, no, no, it sold, it sold half. The other half was on Xbox. You know, I'm just saying, it would be fun. So, pl- plus, those guys were able to get their buy their houses back because, remember, it, they had to put their house in mortgage for development. I'll just say this, it'll be so funny if Nintendo... Yes, the development story on that game is really heartbreaking, and I'm really glad that Studio MDR was successful, and they are living out their dreams. That show's getting a cartoon on Netflix. Ah, yeah. Oh, that is coming out. The reason why I haven't bought the Switch version yet is because I'm waiting for them to release the physical... physical. Anyway, back to our talks about E3. So, yeah, we've talked about how Sony were really amazing, but just started to sink here. So let's talk about what E3 is really about. Square Enix and Nintendo. Square Enix will either turn in a good performance like 2019, an okay start like in 2015, Here's the thing, Nintendo doesn't got... even need to have an E3, especially if they've proven with their Rex are the way to go. I forgot, Dedge, were you there for Squirms' commentary on Square Enix 2018? No, I was with Terrence that day. Uh, that E3 was just... It had no reason to exist. No, no it didn't. The best thing it gave us was the introduction to The Quiet Man, which I kid you not, my group literally thought was going to be Avengers at first before they revealed the whole... Oh yeah, that Avengers game does not look interesting. Yeah, it's it's oh no, it, lo- it looks boring as hell. Oh like, my god, I keep forgetting they, that, that Avengers they game They announced is a that thing. back in 2017. It's, it's also okay. not being made. Next year. It's not being made by Square's team, so it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, okay. I'll just say but, this right. Oh yeah, the Colonel's dead. Oh no, I'm so Zero sad. just killed someone that he cared about. Oh no, and it was also Iris's brother. I'm so oh sad. no, I'm this is damn, terrible. He has no pussy for him tonight. Oh my god, you yeah, just me. You know, yeah. I fi- anyone else kind of find it a bit messed up that Colonel apparently dies happily at this, even though it turns out he's being played for a fool. Like, I love when people talk about how deep a character Colonel is, and I'm like... Who the fuck says so- that? <laughs> <laughs> people who... I are, don't know. It's probably people who <laughs> are thinking more of a the Battle Network manga, honestly. I'll say this, Colonel's a much better character in Battle well, Network well, uh, than he ever well, was in his original stance. No, I feel like I just, almost every Mega Man character's Battle Network counterpart is probably depicted better because it's an RPG, so it has to have emphasis on the story. They're ki- they're kind of all- well. I grant that I'm just judging okay, this okay, based okay, off okay. Lan and his it, friends because they're say, ki- all kind of one note. I will say this though: base in Battle Network is literally just Shadow the Hedgehog. No, no, no. He's. Dead. Yeah, he has a reason to be he, ba- He's He's Ed and Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, because he's voiced by Matt Hill. But he has a reason to be bitter. And he's also created by Dr. Cossack. Yeah. Oh universe. boy, here we go. What the fuck is that? What is she holding? That's supposed to, That's Colonel's consciousness. What? Consciousness. Yeah, remember, Colonel and Iris were meant to be one Reploid, but their programming was too complicated, so they had to make it in two. 
I feel like I remember during this. this. There, they mutate into... Ancestral twins activate. I'm just going to say this, Iris. You have kind of mainly yourself to blame for not calling your brother down from this. And all the same, why are you blaming Zero for this? Like... Because it's a matter of personal pride for Zero. Again, though... Zero's an idiot. Everyone's an idiot in this fucking game. Except, except, except X. <laughs> you know, it's kind of ironic that X is the only person who's not an idiot considering how he acts in Mega Man X7. Man, man, Zero is just there in X7. It's like, well, I, I, I'm just here. Because they were trying to shill Axel. Uh, so let me get this straight. So you, Mega uh, Man uh, Axel's the Silver the Hedgehog of the first of the Mega Man's Yes, you know you know, X yes, series. You, know you know you know you know you gotta love this. Mega Man X starts off as a series you know about X himself, then it slowly becomes. And now we got a, X's crappy friends. Right. Well, here's kind of yeah. ever, ever, ever since the franchise transitioned to three D, the Mega Man X. Oh wait, actually, yeah, kind of that. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, because... Here's the uh, thing, though. I don't think Mega Man needs to be 3D. I, I think in a... T okay, you you so know what I mean by 3D. 3D platforming, not... Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, no, okay, I okay, think a exactly good attempt Oh, wait, hold 3D. on, guys. We're about to see the pinnacle of voice acting. Yeah. All right, so you want to voice it? No. Let's, no. let's, do, it let's no, do it, Joe. please oh. do not. It's bad enough we please. have to hear this shit. How about we talk about that this scene was actually in a mobile game and Johnny Young Bosch was able to finally pass the torch and say this line. He already did it for a song. No, 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 but he actually, like, for a yeah. legitimate Mega uh, also, Man product, said it. Also, the previous voice actor for Zero, I think Lucas Gilbertson is yeah. his name? He, he did do, read up this. He did it with... And it's really good. Yeah, I, I don't know who was Iris... Uh, I guess his friend. I think it was a fan project or something. A fan redub. But he redubbed it, and holy fuck, he knocked it. Remember, out of it the was park. this was supposed to be redubbed in the X collection on the game PPS to Xbox. But you know, I was like, no. <laughs> okay, bye, bye, guys. See ya. <laughs> Come on, that was funny. Wow. Kill me. Uh -huh. Come on. Just, just wow. Uh, next. See you in the next part.